Today, we're going to be taking a look at the future of Fortnite as we come towards the end of the current Fortnite season. Galactus is at his closest point yet. Iron Man and his Marvel team are putting everything together they possibly can to take down Galactus. The epic battle's going to be epic, but what's next for the world of Fortnite? We're also going to be wrapping up some of the Fortnite storylines that have been developing throughout this season and taking a look at a few more Marvel skins that are set to join our world before the epic final Galactus battle. If you're watching this video right now and you want to shoot one sniper shot in the face of Galactus, hit that like button. Each like button is one sniper shot. Together, if we all snipe him, maybe we'll take him down before he even gets to the map. Whilst you're down there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. All the latest news and information is here. And if you don't subscribe, you're going to miss out. A big thank you to everyone popping code Alley into the Fortnite store. A friendly reminder, you can also pop it onto the Call of Duty Warzone store as well. Alley A in all caps. Do it on Fortnite or COD for a video shout out. And I'll also leave a link to my new merch in the description below. Right, intro out the way, let's get into the current Fortnite story that's starting to wrap up. Now, I'm not talking about Galactus or Iron Man, I'm talking about our bros, the Ghost and Shadow Henchmen. guys have had an epic journey throughout this season becoming best buds and as a result of being the only henchman left on the map they've decided to put their differences aside and have an epic adventure. They've played music together, they've gone to the beach together and now it seems as if the story is coming to an end. They've made it all the way to Craggy Cliffs on the northern side of the map where they go ahead and currently visit a load of stores getting supplies, getting food, ready to embark on what could possibly be their last adventure. You can follow them around Craggy Cliffs as they go ahead and pick out a boat pick out a tent and they've even got backpacks on these guys are gearing up to leave i'm pretty sure and you know what i'm a little bit sad it's been such a beautiful journey together That's not the only journey that's finishing. Throughout this season, we've had a fairly interesting story all about the Super Slurp Juice. Can't lie, I was really hoping this would come out as an item. And I'm going to put money on the fact that it will come out next season, now that this story is coming towards an end. We were met with a nice gnome that went ahead and started showing off his beautiful Slurp Juice, but it was sabotaged by the evil, red hat wearing, half gnome, half robot dude. We followed and chased this guy around the map, trying to stop his evil endeavors. We recently went ahead and cleared out the Slurp Juice vats to make sure they weren't poisoned, but he proceeded to go ahead and try and jet back away. It appears that escape plan completely failed. As you can now see a grave for him. His evil adventures are definitely over and you can go up to him, complete a challenge, get a little bit more XP and that should be the last time we see of him. Wave goodbye to him everybody, hit that like button, one like equals one goodbye to the evil gnome. Now let's shift our focus to what's happening next. A little shout out to a video I did a few days ago. I jumped on Next Gen and we checked out everything that's new. There's some really cool effects. I won't share all of them. You can check out that video. I'll link it at the end of this one so you can go and watch it as well. But one of the cool things that we did notice is that with the new and updated Super Scary Storm, you can actually see through it. Or at least Epic Games have made it. You can now see Galactus through the storm so we can keep a closer eye on his progress. One thing we did find out is that it doesn't seem to be supporting anything above 60 FPS. It does have some really cool features like going up to 4K, having lots of awesome visual changes and all around the game looks awesome. But we do know that Fortnite in their blog posted that they're going to continue to update, optimize and improve the next gen Fortnite experience. So fingers crossed that 90 or 120 FPS Fortnite comes to next gen consoles because I know it would be awesome. Going back to Galactus, this guy is so close. I mean, if you haven't seen him getting closer and closer throughout this season, starting off as a tiny little purple speck in the distance and now almost completely covering up the map in the sky. This guy is about to have a huge battle and he's taking his time to get here, but he is close. So far, the person that seems to have done the most amount of work in actually trying to do anything on this map is, well, actually, you know what? Let's not discredit the fact that Doctor Strange helped us portal a lot of stuff onto the Fortnite map. But Iron Man went ahead. He built all of the rift machines in his signature red Iron Man colors and brought in the entirety of his Iron Man headquarters. And then he started to work on all the battle buses to start up. Grey 
Raiden. The upgrades to the Battle Bus are actually live and they've started to continually improve. We're even on a newer version of the Battle Bus right now. But the really obscure, slightly unusual looking device in the center, seemingly powering the Battle Bus. Looks like a giant impulse grenade to me, but it's glowing green. So I think it's a lot more impressive than that. Maybe the Battle Buses will be using a brand new way to help us stay above the map and fight off Galactus in the epic battle. Either way, all that I know is that Iron Man deserves our respect because he's trying his best to help us get ready. Keep an eye on that battle bus as it's set to change even more as we get closer to the live event, which, believe it or not, is less than a month away now. Talking of Marvel trying to help us take down Galactus, we've got more skins on the way. Recently, we've had the Ghost Rider Marvel LTM where you can get the Ghost Rider skin early. By the time you watch this video, it may be in the store already or it was at least coming out very soon. Popping code Ali, eh? These guys have done it. Get a shout out if you do. In Fortnite's recent blog post, they said there's going to be two more Marvel tournaments and gave us different dates throughout the end of this season, which means we are set to get two more Marvel characters to come into the world and help us out. There are a few predictions out there, including Venom, who's apparently going to be as big and as wide as Brutus. I mean, Venom is a big boy for sure. And there's also some leaks pointing at the Black Widow snowsuit skin coming as a variant for the Black Widow skin. Black Widow is one of the very first Marvel skins to be put into the game when Marvel and Fortnite started to make official skins. It was huge and it's quite crazy to think how far we've actually come since then. Shout out to Nutella on Twitter who's found coding and references in game to the snowsuit Black Widow bundle. Meaning if you didn't manage to grab that OG Marvel skin when it first came out, there's a good chance it's going to be coming out soon and with another variant. So that's awesome. Now throughout my Fortnite videos, I give you guys so much information. I try and revisit stuff if it's super interesting, but some things just get lost and they happen or they don't happen. And one thing that we've talked about and there was lots of leaks for is brand new mythic weapons and also mythic abilities. One of the ones that really stuck out was the dual wielding pistols for Mystique as a mythic weapon. Mystique obviously hasn't been a boss so far on the Fortnite map. She hasn't got anything apart from her awesome ability to copy the skin of the person that she takes down as a built-in emo. But those dual wielding mythic pistol weapons were fully coded in the game, ready to go. I wanted to re-bring it up just because I really want them to come into the game and I think more mythic weapons and more mythic abilities are only a good thing. So keep an eye out. You never know. There's still some weeks left in this season. It could still happen. Talking of future mythics, whenever Fortnite announced new skins, they use this really cool background which matches the color of the skin and they throw in a load of mythic icons. However, what they've been doing, and some people have been noticing, including myself and a lot of you guys, is using mythic icons for things that aren't in the game yet. We've had fireballs, we've had claws, we've had loads of icons that are shown on the background, yep, they just haven't appeared. Now, although Mythic's dual wielding pistols are in the game, Fortnite could very easily say they just don't want to use it. But the fact they're using these Mythic icons on their official Fortnite imagery makes me think that these definitely have to come out and it's a good sign that more Mythic abilities, weapons and potential bosses are coming to the Fortnite map and hopefully this end of season is going to be filled with great updates. Talking of Mythic bosses, one of the first things that we've talked about from the beginning of this season, I can't quite believe that we're almost three months into this season, was the introduction of the heli carrier as a part of the Fortnite map so we could finally get inside that vault. If we get to the end of this season and that vault is never accessible legitimately and there's never any loot in it, I will be a little bit disappointed. But hey, at least we managed to glitch our way into it. We didn't find anything and it made for a cool video. But we do know the heli carrier is going to be used in at least some way, potentially in the live event above the map, maybe more taking down Galactus. Potentially there'll be a chance for us to get inside there, get some awesome loot and use it to help take down the big guy himself as he tries to take down the world of Fortnite. Now, we all know this end of season event is going to be crazy, but I want to look beyond it just for a second. I've been storing up a lot of information about what we are getting in the future and what could be changed and added in for the brand new Chapter 2 Season 5 season. If you don't know, every year we can guarantee quite a few things, including Halloween stuff, Christmas stuff, April Fool's stuff, and of course we're getting close to Christmas now. The seasons in the past have been deliberately based around that season. So we've had snowy skins, Christmas skins, codename L, Father Christmas, you name it, you've probably seen it before. Now I'm storing up all the information for a super big chapter two season five video, but let me tell you, files are being tinkered with, winter files have been added, removed and updated. So we know that it's gonna be coming and it's gonna be coming quick. With a lot of the recent Fortnite seasons being heavily crossed over with big brands like Marvel, DC, whether or not Fortnite decide to move away from just having it as a Christmas theme and tie it into another company or another brand and then have Christmas as like a small part
part of it? We'll have to see. Either way, whatever information I get and hear first, I'll shave you guys on the channel. Let me know what you think of all the information down below. And don't forget, you can get yourself the Allier merch. Link in the description. And make sure you're grabbing it in time for Christmas. It's an awesome gift. Thank you to everyone using code Allier. You can check out more videos on screen here. Quickly, click your favorite. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video.